Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new tutorial. Let's have a quick look at what we are going to create today. Watch how this media brand broke through the noise with one simple color. Netflix doesn't just use red. To get started in a new composition, we'll create a solid layer. We'll keep it as black. Now remember, to create these kind of motion reels, you only have to follow three things. Firstly, there should be constant movement. Second, there should be a proper breathing space so that the viewer can understand what is happening on the screen and lastly there should be smooth motion let's see how to do it in our first scene firstly we'll add the man to a timeline press on s scale is up like this keep it over here to give it some depth we'll add the drop shadow for that right click over here go to layer styles and add the drop shadow in a drop down you can quickly play around with the distance and the size so you can increase the distance a bit like this and let's play around with the size now remember, the first concept is there should be constant movement. So to animate this, press on P for position. And also, as it is only coming up from the bottom, you can split the dimensions and only animate the Y axis. So click over here, right click, split the dimensions, click on Y position. Let's take it ahead. At this point, simply drag this out like this. Let's zoom in a bit. Let's keep it at 20 frames. Select both the keyframes, press on F9. Now going to graph editor. In the drop down, choose edit value graph. So you'll get a graph like this. Now in order to create that smooth motion, let me tell you a secret. All you need to do is take this handle and drag this over here. See, remember, don't keep it like this. Always drag it little on the right. Okay. Similarly, taking this handle, keep it over here. Basically, they won't touch, but you will get a curve like this. Now if I play it, looks beautiful, right? Now let's add a text box on the top. To do that, you can come over here. Rectangle tool. Create a rectangle like this. Keep the stroke none. Fill as black. Perfect. Now to animate the text box, select the layer. Firstly, you have to ensure that this anchor point is on the left. So going to our motion tools, simply click over here. Similarly, the anchor point will come on the left. Now press on S for scale. Remove the lock. Add a keyframe. Going at the beginning, let's simply keep this as zero. That way, it will get animated like this. Perfect. Again, in order to make this happen smoothly, select both the keyframes and press on F9. Going to graph editor. This time, let's choose the speed graph. Selecting this, drag it all the way to the left. Perfect. Now we'll add the shapes on the left and the right. For that, right click, go to new, add a shape layer. Going to a drop down in the add, let's add a polish star. Again, going to add. Let's add fill. Let's turn this black. Press on OK. Opening the polish star, you can increase the points. You can keep it anything that you want. For now, I'm going to keep it at 7. Let's increase the scale. Now you just need to play around with these properties over here. Firstly, let me increase this. Perfect. Let me decrease the inner radius. Perfect. Now let's keep it on this side over here. Let me drag this down. Now in order to ensure that it moves automatically, you just need to add an expression in time. So let's press on R. Holding Option or Alt, click once. Over here, just write time into, let's say, 40. Now you play this. So it will keep on rotating indefinitely. Let's take a copy of this and rename all the layers. Let's keep the second flower at the bottom. Now let's hear the audio. Watch how this media brand broke through the noise. Now this is the audio. Let me quickly add the text. Once you add the text, in order to move it inside this rectangle, all you need to do is track mat it. For that, toggle the second button, you'll get the track mat option. Simply connect this text to the text box. Again, enable the text box. Now selecting this at the beginning, press on P for position, add a keyframe over here. Now as you move ahead, we need to shift everything to the left. In fact, we can do one thing. This text box, instead of at one second, we can move it to two seconds. That way, even this keyframe, we can move it to two seconds. Okay, this will start at 15 frames. Watch how this media brand broke through the noise with one simple color. So it should stop here. So we can do one thing. We can keep it like this. This media brand broke through the noise. Perfect. Now again, selecting all the keyframes, press on F9, going to a graph editor, keep it simply on the left. Let's see this. Watch how this media brand broke through the noise. We can do one thing. Instead of at two seconds, we can drag it all the way for around four seconds. This media brand broke through the noise with one simple color. Okay. 
This looks fine. I'm going to graph editor. Let's simply drag it to the left a bit. The brand broke through the noise with one simple color. Nice. Now, in order to give it that film look, you can add the chromatic aberration on top of this. For that, coming over here, let's add an adjustment layer. Perfect. Now, let's select chromatic aberration. See this one. Nice. This is too much. Don't worry. We'll go over here and let's play around with this. Firstly, we'll keep this as around minus 2. Perfect. Let's keep the distance at around 20. Nice. And finally, you can increase or decrease the green and the blue one. For now, I'm going to keep this as around 3. And let's increase this and keep it around 2. Nice. This way, you'll get the nice film look. Perfect. Now, to create a transition between scene 1 and scene 2, let's add the camera. Right click. Let's make all these layers 3D. But see, when we made this 3D, we face one issue. For the human layer, the background vanishes. So we can do one thing. We can keep this as 2D. Right click, create a precomp, name it whatever you want. Move all attributes to a new composition, press on OK. And now let's make it as 3D. This way the drop shadow will stay as it is. Perfect. Now let's add in null object in order to control the camera. Connect it with the null object. Let's press on S for scale. Add a keyframe over here. Going ahead. At this point, let's add a keyframe. Going to the first one. Let's curl this out like this. Let me see. Watch how this media brand broke through the noise. Perfect. Now from this point onwards, we have to drag this out and bring the next scene in front of us. For that, again selecting the null layer, we press on P for position. Add a keyframe over here. Take this back a bit. And then at this point, let's simply drag this up like this. Selecting both the keyframes, press on F9. Going to a graph editor, we need to create a graph like this. Let me in fact zoom in so that you can see it properly. We have to keep it at the center. See all the way like this. Going back, we can drag it ahead as well. So basically, when it is going up at three seconds, let me in fact zoom out a bit and let me hear the audio. One simple color. Netflix does. Ah, okay. So basically, at four seconds, we can select both these keyframes and keep it over here like this. Perfect. So now coming to 4 seconds, we'll trim all these layers. Trim it on the right. Now let's add the assets of scene 2. Let's trim it on the left. Again, ensure to make it 3D. Keep it like this. Let's add a television and all the other elements as well. Let's make them 3D as well. Finally, let's add the Netflix logo animation over here as well. Press on S, scale this down. Now, in order to fit this on top of the TV, ensure that the layer is selected. Going to the top, set the rectangle tool. Coming over here, let's get the rectangle like this. Perfect. Now, selecting both the layers, let's pre comp it. Name this as TV. Let's trim it at this point and let's make that layer as 3D. Perfect. Color. Netflix does. Okay, looks good. We'll need to do one thing. At this point, setting all the layers, we have to drag them down over here. Now go to null object, press on U to see the animation. Netflix does. Okay, this is too low. I want to select all of them, drag them a little up so that it comes in the center like this. Netflix doesn't. Perfect. Now let's add some background elements in order to keep the motion moving. For that, going over here, going to select the pen tool, ensure that no layer is selected. Let's create a shape like this. Perfect. Let's keep the fill as none and increase the stroke. Like this, going to the color, let's give it a nice gradient color. Let's make it 3D as well. Drag this down and keep it over here. Color. Netflix doesn't just perfect. We don't want the animation to stop even for a single second. So going back to another object, at this point, we'll add a keyframe in scale. So from here till five seconds, you can zoom in a bit like this. And then we have to shift everything to the left. So again, we can add a keyframe in position. So from here till 6 seconds, we can shift everything to the left, like this. Perfect. Now let's go to the graph. Again remember, when you want to do any sort of transition, the graph should be like this, in the center. Use red, they own. Perfect. Looks good. I'm going to shift it little ahead to 6 seconds. Perfect. So somewhere at this point, let's trim the layers. And we can transition to scene 3. Selecting all of them, I'm going to trim it on the right. Perfect. Now let's transition to scene 3. Over here, let me start by placing all the elements. Let's drag and drop it to a timeline. Press on S, scale this down. 
like this. Perfect. Let's trim it on the left. Nice. Going ahead. Somewhere at this point, let's trim it on the right as well. So now selecting all the layers, press on U to close them. You just need to keep them like this. Own it. That's striking. Perfect. Let's take a copy of this by pressing Command D and drag them up over here. And let's keep them like this. Now selecting all the layers, again press on U. We have to add the tint effect on top of it. So let's search for tint. Perfect. Just copy this, selecting all the other layers, just paste it. That's it. You see, now all the layers are black and white. Now in order to complete this, all we need to do is just make this logo of Netflix as red. I already provided you the logo in the assets. You can use that. Drag and drop it to a timeline. Press on S and let's scale this down. You can keep it on top of this. I'm going to quickly do it for all the layers. Let's keep it properly like this. Maybe around 6%. It is a little time consuming, but still we'll need to do it. Ed, they own it. That's striking high contrast. Perfect. So once you place all the logos on top of the text, it will look something like this. Nice. So if I play this now. Just use red. They own it. That striking high contrast color is perfect. Nice. Now let's make all the layers 3D like this. Perfect. Selecting all. Let's press on command home to center it. Basically at this point, it should be in the center. Perfect. Let's have a quick look at what we created today. Watch how this media brand broke through the noise with one simple color. Netflix doesn't just use red, they own it. That striking high contrast color. Perfect. So in this way, we completed our scene 1, scene 2 and scene 3 successfully. So that's it guys for this tutorial. If you loved it, make sure to like the video. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you very soon next time.